Hi guys, Katima Gaming here, back again for another benchmark video with my old and trusty i7-4790K paired with the new and shiny RTX 3080. On our last video, I overclocked the i7 to 4.7 GHz and benchmark games at 16x9 1440p, but you guys wanted more. You guys wanted me to do it in 4K, then let's do it. All right, we're going to do the same clocks, we're going to do the same settings, but this time we're going to move again, just like last time, to the living room and try to start benchmarking in 4K. Now, let's backtrack a bit. On my first two benchmark videos, I locked my i7-4790K at 4 GHz to give people an easy reference point if they had older CPUs. And I benched at 21 by 9 1440p as well as benchmarks at 4K locked at 4 GHz. And shockingly, to my surprise, 4K actually performed better than 1440p, which didn't make sense at the time, but then I realized, whoa, bottleneck is real. It's supposed to not make sense. 4K is twice the amount of pixels as 1440p. So how is it that it's running with higher frames? It doesn't make sense, right? Right? This goes to show that bottlenecking is real. If you have a slower CPU like mine paired with one of the newest GPUs and hopefully faster than Big Navi, <laughs> then of course the CPU would have a hard time catching up. In my last video, I benchmarked games at 4.7 gigahertz at 16 by 9 1440p with shadow play off this time let's raise it to 16 by 9 4k with shadow play also off and compare their performance to see if there's still bottleneck going on if 4k does slightly better or even just slightly worse than 1440p we still have proven that bottleneck exists well technically it's already been proven but we want to run it to prove it to ourselves to see is to believe right before we begin, here's a dramatization of how the 4790K would cope with 4.7 GHz at 4K. Oh, oh gosh, that was tough. Oh. Good job, 4790K. 4.7 GHz, 3080 is very impressed with you. You earned my respect today. Hmm. I can't stay at 4.7 GHz. This country's too hot, man. And the owner's too chicken shit to turn on the AC. Yeah, well, it's over now, okay? It's over now. It's not like he will benchmark you again in 4K. Oi! Did anyone say 4K? Oh, TV, not you again. Hey, hey, hey! You better stop calling me just a TV, alright? I'm a 4K TV, and I'm not just any 4K TV, alright? I'm a smart 4K TV, right? Oh, please, your latency issues are so bad, user can't even play Call of Duty properly. Why don't you go back and keep molesting those console peasants, eh? Mediocre, bleh. All right, boys, settle down, settle down. We got work to do. Oh. Hi, user. C can we go back to 4.5 gigahertz now? Please? Yeah, sorry, bro. Uh, no go, can't do that. Um, we're getting more subscribers and viewers right now, and they're asking for 4K uh, at 4.7 gigahertz. So sorry, buddy. I'm I'm gonna need you to man up. This is one more time, okay? Let's 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 go. Let's go. <laughs> Sir, one more time. Sir, I'm a six-year-old chip, okay? Like Danny Glover once said. You're getting too old for this shit. Hey, don't worry, i7 for 790K. This is in 4K. I carry load. Huh? I carry all the load. I am star of this show. Just like you are backup singer, I am star of the show. Like I am Beyonce and you are a dress of member of Destiny's Child, whatever the name was. Are you sure? 3080? Are you sure you can do it? Oh, okay, thank you. All right, here we go. One more. One more time. One more for the show. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, I7. All right, you killing all those frames. Give it to me. Give me all those frames. Very good, I7. I am very impressed. We do it in 4K. I am killing it at 80 frames per second, yo. Yeah? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, mate. Slow down. I eat frames. I can only do 60. Oh, really? Why is that now, huh? You tell me. Tell me. Come on, see it. Why is that, huh? <sighs> Because I'm just a TV. Ah, that's right. You are just TV. All you're good for is Pornhub and Netflix. Now shut up and do what you can. Go, 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 go. Ah, bench, mark, come, please. Yes. 100 frames on average again. Well, TV can only show 60, but we did 100 frames. Good job, I7. Good job. I am very impressed. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? 
You guys are a bunch of assholes. I am the most important part in this computer, and you treat me like shit. I am done. I quit. Hey, oh, come on, I7. Come on, where are you going? You're, you're the star of the show. You know we love you, man. Come on, come back. Come back. I promise I'll get you liquid cooling this time. What about the subscribers? No, 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 I7, where are you going? I, I, I can't function without you. Come back, come back. All right, an $800 graphics card can't function without a CPU. And you've been nothing but mean to him, right? <laughs> Smart 4K TV. Uh, you have a CPU in there, right? Oh, 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 you're calling me a smart 4K TV now, right? You know what, 3080, you're pathetic. I'm out of here. Wait, 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 I can settle for consoles. PlayStation 5 is awesome. I made Netflix look better. We can do Pornhub in VR if that's your thing. All right, benchmark begins, looking good at 70 frames, but right off the bat, look at that CPU load. That's okay as long as the GPU load is also at 90. Expect FPS to drop in the city. All right, look at that, that GPU load. We, that means we're getting our money's worth right there, but the CPU, oh my gosh, holding steady at 70 degrees, it is just pushing those pixels. All right, benchmark is almost finished, but look at that GPU load though. My gosh, we are pushing that GPU to its limit. 66 frames per second, not bad for 4K. Okay, so the numbers are up. Let's have a look. On our 16 by 9, 1440p benchmark that we did in the last video, we averaged around 80 frames per second, while in 4K today, we averaged at 66, which is actually very good, considering that 4K is twice the amount of pixels compared to 1440p. Here's an interesting thing, though, I noticed. We saw the CPU go up to 100% load in all cores right from the start. <laughs> if I didn't open the case and blow cold air in there, I think the CPU would have crashed. Um, but it was the GPU that interested me. You could see that the load on the GPU was constantly at 95%, which is a good thing because that means that you're getting your money's worth at 4K. Whoa, guys, I found something interesting. Haiti Retro Gaming did a benchmark on AC Odyssey in 4K as well and got similar results even with, get this, an i7-9700KF, that's got 8 cores and 8 threads with a turbo boost of 4.9 GHz. And yet it's getting similar frames, look at that guys, it's getting similar frames compared to the i7-4790K. What does this mean? Have we pushed the 3080 to its limit without the older CPUs being an issue? Let's look for other, other results around the internet. Whoa. This is weird, guys. Alizera, uh, Ali Reza PC Gaming also did a benchmark with a 3080 paired with an i9-10900K. That's 10 cores, 20 threads, and can go up to 5.3 gigahertz, guys. These are the results. I don't care about the mins and max, guys. Whatever. Look at that. He is getting, what, 67 on average. An i7-4790K can get similar results with an i9-10900K in 4K? Have we just leveled the play- Oh my gosh, have we just leveled the playing field? Um, we've hit GPU bottleneck, that's it. That's all the GPU can do regardless of the CPU. 1440p, look at the 1440p results again, guys. Obviously, that is the sweet spot for the i7-4790K. The least bottleneck is right there at 4.7 gigahertz. There's always gonna be bottleneck everywhere regardless of what your setup is, but this is it. The results don't lie. Let's try out some other games, man. Wow, amazing. All right, Far Cry 5. Wow, the frame rates look really good. This is an older game after all, but it's always been easier to run. Graphics are great. Oh, we got a little bit of a spike on the CPU. GPU is just going at a 90%, over 95%. Look at it in the red. That's actually good, meaning we're really pushing it. We're really getting our money's worth. And CPU looks relaxed over here in this section. All right, a little bit more particles there. GPU being pushed to the edge. All right, let's look at the results for Far Cry 5. 
All right, let's look at Far Cry 5 at 1440p, guys. We saw an average of 107 frames on average, while in 4K, which is twice the amount of pixels, mind you, we saw 87 frames. That means the game is really well optimized. Okay, so it is an older game in a way, but man, we saw that 3080 even in an older game. It was pushed to the max. It, there was even moment. There were even moments where it was hitting 98, 99% at a time with CPU spikes here and there. But man, if you can get 87 frames at 4K, that, that's amazing. That's amazing. If you look at another benchmark though, I pulled up another benchmark from Haiti Retro Gaming and his i7-9700KS at 4K is also getting similar results. In spite of the fact that he is running a newer CPU from early 2019 with 8 cores, 8 threads, this means it's no longer a CPU bottleneck. We have reached a GPU bottleneck, guys. At 4K with CPU clock speeds at around 4.7 gigahertz, you could push the 3080 to its limits. Okay, Ghost Recon Wildlands now, and it looks like the CPU and GPU are really struggling with this game in 4K. You can see the percentage of the GPU stuck there at 96, 97, 98%. Here come the particles. Wow, looks like we're gonna get 50 to 60 frames per second here. Everything's looking good. CPU, GPU working together. Let's look at the results. All right, Ghost Recon Wildlands, as you can see, really not very optimized in 4K, pulling in 55, almost 56 frames per second on average, while at 1440p, we are getting 81 frames. 1440p really is the sweet spot here based on these numbers. Yusef G1 also did a benchmark on 4K with Wildlands, with his 3080 paired with a slightly newer i7-7700K, and look at those results, man almost identical this means that the cpu is no longer an issue even with the i7-4790k very impressed that even a five to six year old cpu like ours can still duke it out let's move on to the last benchmark okay red dead redemption 2 the benchmark is now using john marston instead of arthur morgan that's interesting no spoilers intended but look at that gpu go it is constantly a 90 percent and over watch john marston get out as the cpu drops into the city he shoots the police gets on the horse frame rates doing a decent job a little better in the city as he makes his run Okay, the TNT scene, explosion, particles. Keep an eye on the GPU, guys. My gosh, it is not getting a break. Over 95%, it's always in the red. You are getting your money's worth. All right, tail end. Let's summarize the results for Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, Red Dead Redemption 2, on your left is the 4.7 gigahertz at 4K, and on your right is the 4.7 gigahertz in 1440p. We saw the GPU just struggle to get the expected 60 frames in 4K, while in 1440p, wow, you got 83 frames, all max in RDR2 is a dream, buttery smooth. We also saw the GPU just constantly at 90% and over all the time, it was doing all it can at 4k so in conclusion wow i got it all wrong you know that skit that i did with the 3080 the 100 frames on average that wasn't even close guys but it goes to show that at 4.7 gigahertz on an i7-4790k you can push the gpu to its limits at 4k which is exactly what they advertise actually i, I can't believe we bottlenecked the gpu with an old cpu you know what that means i'm going for a water cooler man i'm not upgrading anytime soon the i7 74790K can still duke it out. Now, this is of course strictly gaming. Of course, it's, it's just four course eight threads. And when it comes to other productivity uses, surely, you know, uh, performance will vary. But hey, if you can get to 4.7 gigahertz, eh, you know, at 4.6 even with a 4770K, 8700K, or 7700K, whatever. With a 3080 and gaming in Ultra 4K, you're getting your money's worth, man. My worry only is that these are benchmarks in older games. When newer games arrive, will we still enjoy these kinds of performances? I guess only time will tell.
So, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I really hope you learned something new here. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. If you have any questions, go ahead in the comment section. I try my best to answer every single one of you guys. Liking and subscribing small channels like mine really helps out a lot. And as usual, I'll see you in our past, present, and future videos. Sarihap!